hands are ready, maybe grab your roller out. We might keep that. But to get started with, let's just get the shoulders moving. And I think we'll do a little bit of rolling. So let's go fingertips on your shoulders and just open up like you're tracing paper plates. Squeeze the shoulder blades, kind of open the chest up. Let's do maybe three more of those. All right, and then we are gonna do some nice big giant arm circles. Yay, Miss Sherry. Just getting started. We might play with the roller though, so grab it out. All right, let's shrink those arm circles up just a little bit. Keep your thumbs facing the ceiling. We're just gonna go a little smaller. And a little bigger. Oh, that gets the shoulders moving nicely. All right, go ahead and shake your arms out and let's go feet nice and wide. Heaven forbid I knock that over. And we're just gonna sink down and do some nice big giant sunshine circles. Keep your back flat, just bend at the knees, feet nice and wide. All right, and then take your hands together and we're gonna do some circles this way. Just pull on your arms. Just gonna let the knees bend, don't bend your back. Just circle around. Snap, crack, and pop. So let's take that the other way. All right, and then let's just go arms out to the side. I'm just gonna sink down towards one foot and try to touch that opposite foot with your hand. If you can't make it to your foot, just aim for your shin or whatever. All right, one more. And then keeping your feet nice and wide, let's just interlace your fingers. Same thing, you're just gonna lean side to side, pull up on your fingers and pull the shoulder blades. We'll just do a couple of those to each side. Try to find a nice inner thigh stretch there. All right, one more to each side, please. All right, come on up. We're gonna take our arm sideways. So just get it nice and loose. And we're just gonna swing in one direction and then we'll go in the other direction. Hopefully before you get to the All right, pause in the middle, and let's go the other way. I got a pause or I will get busy. All right, guys, shake your arms out. And then we're just gonna go reach behind your back and up and over. Okay, just alternate a few times side to side. Or snap, crackle, pop. All right. And then let's come back this way. I didn't think we're going to use it all, but let's first interlace your fingers. 
Let's do some step backs. Two step it back, squeeze that back butt cheek and pull your thumb, your fingers to get a nice stretch of your shoulders along the way. Okay, let's alternate. Squeeze the back butt. All right, let's do two more on each side. All right, and one more time, shake it out. Let's do one more thing, and then we're gonna roll a little bit. So let's go alternating legs. Sorry, clothing adjustment there. <laughs> You're gonna bend one, straighten the other leg. And just hinge at your hips, reach down, reach up, and switch sides. You don't bend your back, keep it flat, just hinge. One more on each side. All right. Grab your rollers, kids. And we are going to start with the legs and we will move up to the shoulders. So starting up, let's go right on the front of the hip flexor. Uh, in the Yeah, front hip flexor, you know what I mean. That bone right there. One leg off to the side. And let's go just a couple times over, over the attachment, right at the top. And then let's walk all the way up and down the middle of your quad. Sorry, my sneakers are squeaky. <laughs> More than I realize. All right. So when you're ready, go ahead and slightly roll your foot out. We're going to get the inside part of your quad. Wow, they are really squeakier than I thought. Oh goodness, there's always something going on in there. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and rotate your foot out all the way. And let's get the ins, inner thigh. So just a little bit on the inside of the quad. All right, cool. Hang on, just found a nugget. When you find a nugget, hang out on it for a second. Just quick back and forth over it. All right, and then when you're ready, let's roll towards the outside of the quad. Not the IT band just yet. You can stack your feet up, awesome. If not, put the top one on the floor. All right, not to put my backside to you again, but when you're ready, let's go all the way on the side on that IT band. Try to go all the way from next to your knee to the top of your hip. Once again, if you find a nugget, See if you can handle just going back and forth over it. Don't mash it. Just spend a second with it.
All right. I could stay there all day, but we won't do that. Okay, let's go to the other one. Start up. Once again, just on the very front of that hip bone. Which probably doesn't feel like much, but we're going to stretch a lot better if we roll it out. Oh, all right. Down the middle. Apparently only one shoe is squeaky. Oh, well. All right. When you're ready, you can slightly rotate your leg out and look at the inner portion of your quad. That doesn't feel like too much when you're ready. Go ahead and rotate all the way out and let's get the inner thigh. All right, and then you know I'm avoiding. Well, let's go outer thigh first, so still outside portion of the quad. And then when you're ready, let's try to go all the way out on the side. See if I can make it with both legs stacked. Oh, never as happy on this side. Of course, you can offset that with your hands too, but if you find a spot that's not too happy, hang out with it for a second. Oh, all right. We're not going to mash that all day. Okay, good. Let's flip over. We're going to get the bike. Let's start off just kind of sitting on it sideways. See if we find any nuggets in there. All right, when you are ready, the balancing act of, let's try to cross one leg, cross it over into that figure four. And we're gonna keep rolling. Hopefully getting a little deeper in there. towards the top too, the top of like the back of your hip. There's a lot going on in that hip probably. All right. Once again, I could stay there all day, but now let's go just down the hamstring quick, cross the top leg over. We get a little more leverage and let's go up and down the back of the hamstring, focusing primarily Usually the tight spots are going to be, oh, there they are, <laughs> the tendons that are behind your knee. Probably you're going to find a tight spot, if anything. So hang out there for a second if you want. And the other spot you're going to find stuff is right on the top where it attaches to your butt. All right. Go all the way down to the cap. We'll go to the other side. We'll get our back and we will stretch it out a little more. All right, let's go ahead and switch. We'll start with the cap on the other side. Ooh, 
All right, let's move it into the hamstring. Same thing, maybe focus a little more towards the tendon behind your knee. All right, and then it might be easier to just kind of pick your butt up and shift to move right behind the attachment at the top. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we are totally going to stretch that out. But first, let's go ahead and get our back. So we're going to go underneath the shoulder blades. Okay. I want you to grab your head, completely support your head, take the load off your neck. We're going to leave your butt on the ground for the moment. Okay. And all I want you to do is from here, you're just going to curl up a little bit and relax back over it. It's not a crunch. We're trying to get more motion in those shoulder blades. Try to let gravity take your elbows towards the floor. Just gonna come up and down three more times. And see if you can relax a little more over it each time. All right, definitely more motion there. And if you want to lift your butt, you can. You can still do it with your butt on the ground. Well, let's actually just by bending and straightening your knees a little bit, roll over those shoulders. See if we find any nuggets back there. All right. Then you can go ahead and put your butt down. And I want you to go a little side to side just with your shoulders. All right. So before we flip over, let's actually go on your side quick. I want you to put your front knee, top knee, front knee, does that make sense? Top knee <laughs> on the roller. Your goal is to push down and forward on it at the same time. And we're going to take that arm on the top and just open it. Okay. The whole point of having your knee on the roller is it keeps your hips from rocking back. We get more motion in the shoulder blades. If you can't really push down on it, that's okay. You just want forward motion with your knee or your arms going the other way. Let's do two more. And just let your arm hang there for a second. All right, let's go ahead and flip that over. Ooh, right in front of the fan. Here we go. All right, let's do two more. Just hang out for a second. All right, and come on up. We're gonna do some half kneeling, but real quick first, while we're on a roll here with the arms, go uh, on your knees, and knees a little bit wider, feet together. We're going to do a diagonal single arm rollout. So thumb facing the ceiling. Let that arm roll to wherever you're comfortable. And then come on back up. All right, let's get one more. And go ahead to the other side. Final one. All right, we will revisit that. But first, 
Let's go this way. And before we're going to uh, pull on our foot here, from that half kneeling position, let's just rotate. Oh, open those shoulders and rotate, open them the other way. One more. And then grab onto that front knee and try to pull that other arm a little further back if you can. All right, and bring it back this way. And then I'm going to interlace your fingers. I want you to lean in. Don't arch your back. Just squeeze the back butt cheek a little bit for me. And then let's come back to 90 degrees. And you're going to do a tiny little side bend. All right, bring your shoulders down once. And then let's lean right back into that. All right now, use your roller, whether it's tall or not. And let's see if you can grab on to that back foot. Pushing on your roller. And wherever it is, use it for balance. And when you try to get that foot as close to your butt as you can without arching your back. Relax it a little, but don't let go. And let's lean in again. Squeeze that back foot cheek and see if you can get that foot any closer. All right, gently set it down. And go ahead and straighten the front leg a little bit. And we're just gonna do a couple of the ones we did standing up. So just hinging your hip, reach down and reach up, grab your fingers at the top. Oh, one more. Oh yeah, all right. So let's get the other side and then we'll uh, roll around here a little. Oh yeah, all right, other leg forward. And start off with, let's come right here. Lean in, don't arch. Squeeze the back butt cheek. Bring it back to 90 degrees. Let's pull a little bit to the side. Oh, I forgot the other one. Whoopsie. This one, reach and reach. That's okay. Combo deal. And one more. All right, grab that front leg. And then take those arms right back here, reach them up. Okay, grab that roller. Grabbing that one's always a trick. All right, leaning on your roller. Oh, try to get that foot as close to your butt as you can. Don't arch your back, just lean in. Relax it a little. And lean right back in. If you can get it any closer, squeeze that back butt cheek. All right, come on up, set it down. And let's go ahead and straighten out the front leg to your comfort level. And again, reach down, reach up, grab your fingers at the top. And last one. Oh yeah. All right, let's take this foot out to the side. Find a nice inner thigh stretch. Oh yeah. Rotate your foot a little towards the ceiling and then back down. All right, let's take this arm. 
reach underneath, pause for a second, and you're gonna open the other way. Let's just get five of those. Reach as far under as you feel like you can. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, reach under, pause. Feel the shoulder blade stretch and then open. One more. All right. And then go ahead and reach everything forward. And let's take that to the other side. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> rotate that foot towards the ceiling and towards the floor. Find that good inner thigh stretch. All right. Then let's take this arm, reach it under, pause, and open. And last one. All right, let's take the other side. Just pause for a second, feel that nice pull behind your shoulder blade. All right. Then let's go ahead and lie down on your back. We are almost there. Oh yeah. All right, first off, just grab on to the back of your leg. And let's do a little bit of a static stretch here. You go ahead and straighten that other leg out. And before we do the figure four, take that leg, arm to the side, and try to let it fall from side to side. And one more. All right, take that leg. Oh, hug it to your chest. Bring the other knee up. Oh my goodness, feel that good stretch back here. And you're just gonna rock a little bit side to side, just a little. Oh, goodness. All right, go ahead and set that foot down. Grab onto the side of your knee and just give it a little gentle pull. All right, let's take that to the other side. And let that leg fall gently side to side. One. Oh, all right. Let's hug this one. Oh, when you find that good stretching spot, just rock a little bit back and forth. All right, set that foot down and gently grab on the side of your knee and give a gentle fall. All right, hands behind your thighs. And we're gonna lose these little moments when we get up. Come on right here. And I want you to pat yourself on the back. Grab onto your elbow if you can. And take it to the side. And other side. All right, go ahead, stand up, shake it out. 